Okay, so in this shower, this very simple shower that we're installing here, I'm gonna use one of my favorite grouts, the Spectroglock One. I've been using this for the last half a dozen or so jobs and I've been really, really happy with it. So if you want something that you can easily put in place and move on with the rest of the project, this is definitely one of these type of grouts. And what's really great is that you can go back and touch up things later because it's a pre-mix. It's just gonna be in the bucket. So if you screwed up something, if you had too much water in your joint or something, you can touch this up later. So I'll show you a couple of really important tips on installing it and uh, you can move on with the rest of your project. Okay, so you really don't have to mix anything. Everything is already ready to go. I would just recommend having two buckets of water so that you can effectively remove the grout afterwards. If you don't have two buckets, it, you know, once it gets too grimy, it's hard to clean the tile. But I would really recommend these sponges as well. If at least do have this for the, the grouting aspect of the, the shower, the Ardex sponges, they definitely hold more of the, uh, you're able to clean them better. And they're, it's square, so it, it makes the joints nice and tooled. But the first thing you wanna do is just wipe your surface down with the damp sponge. And this just helps glide that grout over the joints. But you have to make sure that all of your joints are already cleaned out before doing this. Um, I mean, you, you have a little bit of wiggle room to be able to play around with your joints, but you really wanna make sure that everything's cleaned off before you get started. Um, this is one of my favorite grout floats. This is a Troxel grout float. It has a little bit of a flexible um, aspect to it, which is really nice. So this has a nice fine consistency to it, and it's really easy to pack the joints and remove any excess. So basically, you only wanna be grouting about what you can remove within five minutes. That's about all the length of time that you want this stuff sitting on the tile. So, but just pack the joints and pay attention to what they look like. But again, this is a very flexible grout where if you miss something, if you don't like it the way it looked after it sets up, you can easily just scrape it out and apply a new grout. So I really like that aspect of it. So at this stage, it's really all about just making sure that all those joints are well packed and not really paying too much attention to how much grout is actually left on the tile. It's more important to make sure all those grout joints are completely packed and filled um, because then when you go over with the sponge later, you can toll the joint and get it all nice and even with the tile. So it's just a matter of uh, going through this. Now, most of the time, I can usually do the entire wall within five minutes. But if you can't do it in that type of period of time, just go halfway down the wall, wipe it down, and then do the other half. So it really is a flexible grout when it comes to that. So just take your time, pay attention to those joints, and then you can do a final cleanup after all of the grout is set in the shower. So five minutes, just use a sponge. And uh, circular motions usually help get it off. Pay attention to those joints. And the most important thing about this is making sure that your sponge is just damp. Too much water will wipe out the joints, or wash it, I should say. So just make sure that's really well wrung out. And again, if you had, if you had too much water and it ran out the joint, just wait till it dries, and then you can address it later and add more to it. So my very, very, delicate grout, very easy to come out. You just can't have too much water on the sponge or you'll just wash out the joint. Okay, so this is the part that will help you out. So after you wipe everything down, take a microfiber cloth and just wipe this down. This will prevent any of the haze from coming out. And get you, allow you to really take a look at the grout joints here.
So one of the rewarding things about using this type of grout is that you can immediately get a finished look of what the project's gonna look like. A lot of those old traditional grouts, you could never tell what the actual color was gonna be until everything's set up an hour later or so. So, but with this stuff, once this is wiped off, and that, that is the color. And I should also mention that this type of grout never needs to be sealed or have any other type of maintenance um, that you have to apply to it. So that's another great benefit. Like once you install this, that's it. And you can move on with the rest of your project. brings out the imperfection. And another point that I should bring to your attention is that if you do have any haze left over after you do this in, um, initial wash, wiping everything off, wait about an hour and then you can use a um, something like Windex with vinegar or you can just take a little bit of vinegar and add some water to it and just spritz the the tile and then use a white scrubby pad to remove any additional haze some tiles are a little bit more sensitive to haze that might be left on the, the actual tile um, one of the biggest types of tiles that I have issues with are the really nice high gloss tiles sometimes when the light reflects on it you can see a little bit of haze but wait about an hour until everything sets up really nice and, and stiff and then just use a white scrubby pad and a little bit of vinegar water and you'll be able to remove any of that excess off. But this uh, Spectralock 1, I have really had very limited uh, problems with having any haze being left on. The biggest issue I ever have is some intricate tile that have a lot of little grooves in it that have been really difficult to maybe get some of that. But that really happens with any type of grout when you get into some of these sensitive mosaics that have like real fine find little cuts in them but uh, overall very pleased with this stuff and it really will last a long time and, and look great for your project so I hope these uh, tips have helped you out And hey, if you plan on doing your own bathroom remodel, definitely check out my course. I've put together a curriculum that goes step by step through the entire process of the bathroom remodel. It'll definitely keep you organized and prepared so you can efficiently get that bathroom remodel done.